Good morning, everybody. 7.30 a.m. Monday morning, time for movement prep and cardio crush. My name is Luis Morales. I'm a health fitness specialist with Exos at Autodesk. Let's go ahead and get right into it this morning. So we're going to be doing 10 minutes, kind of just general movement prep. We're going to get ready for cardio crush, which is going to last about 15 minutes. We'll cool down and then get out of here. So I'm going to set the timer up here. All right, guys. So what we're going to start out with today... <clears throat> All we need is a little bit of space. And what we're gonna start out with today is a nice slow march. You guys probably know by now that I really like to start out with this one. It helps us really get all the muscles around the pelvis and the lower spine kind of going. So we're driving one knee up, driving the opposite hand up around head level, opposite glute, we're squeezing pretty hard. And then we can slowly just switch. So that one leg on the ground is locked out. We're using our feet kind of as tripods here keeping the arch up, keeping the core nice and tight, breathing through it, starting to use a lot of muscles, waking all those muscles up, keep that pelvis nice and tall, and start to switch a little bit faster here now. Good job, everybody, good job. A couple more each side. Locking those legs out, warming those hips up. All right, last one here. Core is tight, big breath. Beautiful, all right, we can let it down. Shake it out here. There we go. So next up, you guys, what we're gonna do is go ahead and in our standing space, warm up these shoulders. So. Start with the, the palms out facing away from us. What we're gonna do is start with small circles going forward, just kind of small ones, tiny ones. And as we go, we're gonna let them get just slightly bigger, slightly bigger. And now the largest forward circles that we can make with these shoulders. Stay in a comfortable range. Make sure the shoulders are the only thing moving. Nicely done, let's relax those arms, bring them to a slow stop. We're gonna do the same thing now, starting with the palms facing away from us, going backwards. So really small little circles going backwards here, guys. Make sure we're not shrugging, we're trying to wake up all those shoulder muscles, all the muscles surrounding the shoulder. Let those circles get a little bit bigger now. And a little bit bigger. Good, until they're the biggest circles that we can make now, comfortably, just with those shoulders. No other part of the body's moving. Good, and let those arms come down to your sides and relax. Well done, you guys, well done. Okay, next up, we're gonna come down to the ground, wake up a few more lower body muscle groups. So let's come on down to our backs here. As we get down into our backs, this is a great way to kind of warm up the core, connect that core with the ground here real quick. So what we're gonna do, big deep breath in. As we exhale all of our air out, we're gonna feel the pelvis tilt back, ground press or our back press into the ground, excuse me. So keep that same tension through the core as we breathe, back connected to the ground. And what we're gonna do now with the legs bent here at 90-90, let's tap one heel on the ground tap the other heel on the ground. So we're just gonna alternate here, breathing as we go, not feeling any change in that connection between our backs and the ground. Nicely done, you guys breathe through it. Waking those core muscles up. Good, good. One more each side. Nicely done, everybody. You can let those legs come down, relax. Take a deep breath, let that back disconnect from the ground. All right, since we're already here on the ground, let's go ahead and get into some more glute activations. Really important, especially in the morning to really wake all these muscles up, make sure we can use them throughout the rest of our days. So what we're gonna start with is a little bit of bridging. So with those heels planted about, shoulder, or about hip width apart, toes are up, pointed up towards the ceiling. We're gonna go ahead and do a few bridges. So make sure that core is tight, just like the heel taps. We're then gonna squeeze the glutes, 
propel our pelvis upwards, and then take it back down. Let's do one more of those, big squeeze. Good, and then back down. All right, guys, so for this next one, we're gonna start to get into one leg at a time. So, big exhale, let's squeeze, bring those legs up. Now we're gonna do some marching. So bring one leg up, make sure the other leg is using that glute to squeeze super hard, supporting our pelvis. Let's bring it down. Other side comes up now. Shouldn't be any big changes in that pelvis when we switch legs here, guys. Should be nice and even. Pretend you got a plate of your favorite food resting on the front of the pelvis here. Don't let it get crooked. Have your plate of food fall off. Really just squeeze in those glutes here, guys. Nicely done, nicely done. Good work, you guys, good work. I know this is getting hard. Let's do one more each side. Here we go. Core is tight. We're exhaling. Last one here. Good, hold it. Squeeze that glute. Bring that opposite heel down, and then we can bring the whole pelvis down and rest. <sighs> nice deep breath. Good job, you guys. Good job. All right, let's make our way slowly back up to our feet. What we're going to do is one final thing, and then I'll get into what we're doing for cardio crush. So let's start at the bottom of our space for this one. What we're going to do is a couple quick inchworms. So push those hips back. Let's try and find as far as we can get, kind of reaching for the ground, reaching for our feet, bend the knees a little bit if you have to, to connect those hands to the ground. And then let's walk those hands out until we're in a nice plank position. Then we can push our hips up and walk those feet in. <sighs> Breathe as we go, you guys. Once we get into that forward fold position again, squeeze the glutes, stand all the way back up. We'll do it one more time going the other way, or you can reset. We're gonna do it the same way though, pushing the hips back, trying to find the ground with those hands, bending the knees a little bit if we have to in order to walk ourselves out into a nice plank position. Find that core again, <sighs> pushing the hips up and then walking those feet back in towards the hands. <sighs> Take a moment, hang out in the forward fold if you want and squeeze the glutes, we're coming back up. Nicely done, you guys, nicely done. Shake it out a little bit. All right, let me go ahead and get into what we're doing for cardio crush. So today, like other workouts, we're gonna be working for two minutes on and then 30 seconds off. Now we have three different movements, which we're gonna go through consecutively. We're gonna do two rounds, which is gonna equal about 15 minutes. So first one is our loading progression. If you've been to this class before, you might be familiar with this one. Very similar to the action we would be doing while um, cross country skiing. So we're gonna get all the way up with the arms, all the way up onto our tippy toes and then violently swing the arms down, bring ourselves down catch ourselves in this kind of hinged position here. So the core is tight, the hips are back, the tension is here in the glutes and hamstrings. We shouldn't be feeling this in the low back if we're working the core and coming down with the back nice and flat. So again, Violent swing down to the arms, we'll reset up on the tippy toes and it'll go like that. Second movement we're doing guys is the reverse lunge. So we wanna make sure we have some space behind us. We're going to alternate here. So making sure that the weight stays over that front foot, whatever the foot that may be, stepping back using that front hip to, to propel us up and forward a little bit. And then our third movement is going to be the forward lunge. So again, we're gonna have to have some space in front of us. And again, we wanna make sure that we're not stepping too far so that our pelvis is kind of looking like that. Wanna make sure kind of more compact and that we're also landing with the weight kind of even in between those two legs. Torso and core is tight. Weight can be a little over that forward leg. All right, you guys, so those are our three movements. Again, we're gonna be doing each of those for two minutes consecutively and then resting and then moving on to the next one. So for about 15 minutes total, we'll cool down, 
we'll get out of here. So let me set up the clock and then we will get it started. As always, you guys, constant theme in this class, we're trying to breathe through the nose while we're working. And what this does is increases our anaerobic, anaerobic capacities over time and makes us a little more used to that conditioned air coming in through the nose and into the lungs, even if it's not as much as when we're usually exercising, sucking air in through our mouth. So that is the goal. If you can do that just during rest periods or as much as you comfortably can, breathe in through the nose here today for this workout. All right, guys, so about 15 minutes of the work here. Go ahead and make sure you guys got your water near you. All right, let's get it going here. Three, two, one. We're starting with that loading progression here, guys. So arms up. We're up on our tippy toes, violently swinging them down, catching ourselves almost. Good job, you guys. So the violent swinging of the arms should really be the force that is pulling us down into this position. Or we're hinged at the hips, bent at the knees and our feet and our heels kind of land flat on the ground there. I know it may be easier to breathe through the mouth and exhale hard as we swing those arms and move quickly here. Do your best to use that nose and train your body to take in air that way as well as we exercise. Always a good tool to have in the tool belt. Good work, everybody. Good work. We're working. Got about 30-ish seconds left in this work interval. Breathe in through the nose, guys, as much as you can. Good job, everybody. Good job. 20 seconds. Here we go. Still keeping the core tight, guys. As we land in this position. Here we go, three, two, one. All right, you guys, stand up, grab some water, walk it off a little bit if you need to. But the goal is, remember, breathing in through the nose, in and out. So up next, you guys, we got our reverse lunges. This is going to be alternating reverse lunge for two minutes as we try and breathe in through the nose. All right, guys, here we go. Three, two, one, and we're going. Just because this is cardio crush size doesn't mean we have to go super, super fast. Especially because it's the morning, we can go ahead and lock in that form start the day off on a high note by moving with quality keep that core tight keep the weight over that front foot keep that front knee moving towards the outside of the foot and again breathing in through the nose at every opportunity here, you guys. Nicely done, you guys, nicely done. I know gonna be a lot of lunges here today in this workout, kind of like last week. Good work, you guys, good work. We got about 30-ish seconds left. Keep 
Keep pushing, you guys. Keep pushing. Breathe in into the nose whenever you can. Almost done, you guys. Almost done. Keep moving. Stay with me. Three, two, one. And we are resting, guys. All right. Nasal breaths as much as possible. All right, you guys. So we got our forward lunges coming up next. Again, lots of work for the legs. What we're going to be doing, keeping the core tight, having our bodies pitch forward a little bit over that front leg, <sighs> trying to land with heel, big toe, little toe on the ground, and a nice tripod. All right, let's get it going. Here we go, forward lunges now. Good work, everybody, good work. Push away from that ground. Good job, guys. Try and land that foot in the exact same place that you left it. If you found a comfortable groove, give yourself a little target to work with and hit on every rep. As always, we're breathing in through the nose as much as possible, making sure the knees track towards those outside to toes or the outside of the foot. Nicely done, everybody. About one minute left. Good job, everybody's working. Trying to breathe in through the nose the whole time if we can. Creating greater capacity for ourselves here. Fifteen seconds, you guys. Fifteen seconds. Let's keep pushing. Almost done with round one here. Three, two, one, and we're resting. All right, everybody. Great work. So that is the end of round one. We're gonna be doing the same thing for round two, going through with the loading progression. Reverse lunges and then the forward lunges. Same deal, two minutes of work, 30 seconds of rest. Final seven and a half minutes here, then we're gonna cool down. All right, guys, so let's get into that position for the loading progression. Here we go, three, two, one. Arms up, tippy toes, swing those arms down. <sighs> Catch yourself in that skiing position, trying to grab some speed while on the skis. Core is tight. And every time we swing those arms, guys, it's okay to take a moment, reset. Get the arms up, toes up. Go up on your toes, I should say. Good job, everybody, good job. Swing those arms down, guys. Squeeze those armpits. Imagine you're trying to make some orange juice with some oranges in the armpits for this Monday morning. Nicely done, everybody. Nicely done. Keep swinging those arms. Land with all that tension in the glute and the hamstrings. Good job, everybody. Good job. Got a solid one minute left.
Nice work, you guys. Nice work. We're 30 seconds away from being done with this loading progression. Good job, everybody. Good job. Almost done here. Keep it moving, guys. Almost done. Five seconds. Three, two, one. And we're resting. Nice work, you guys. Nice work. Nice work, everybody. Okay. Reverse lunge is coming up next here, guys. Make sure you guys got some good space behind you. We got 20 seconds. 10 seconds, excuse me. It's almost time to go again. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're alternating with those reverse lunges. Keeping that core tight, keeping that torso straight. Good job, guys. Good job. Breathe in through the nose as much as you can. I know we're working here. Good work, everybody. Good work. I know we're trying to stay moving, but if you guys got to stop, and grab some water, feel free to do so. Shake it out, try and take a couple breaths, and then we're right back into it. <sighs> Nicely done, everybody. Nicely done. Keep that core tight. <sighs> Good to practice that hollow position, guys, that braced position through the core. We can be ready for any kind of loading. Life decides to throw at us in the future during a movement pattern like this, a lunge or something else. Good job, guys. Everybody's working. Almost done here. Got about 20 seconds. Good job, y'all. Good job. Almost done. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, you guys. Final rest period. We're into our final two minutes. Forward lunges, and we'll cool down and then get out of here. Nasal breath as much as possible here, guys. We got 10 seconds until it's go time. All right, guys, here we go. Three, two, one, forward lunges. Last final two minutes of work. Keep the breathing going, keep the movement going. Good job, everybody, good job. Don't be afraid to add a little bit of power to this movement. Use that front foot to push yourself away from the earth. Violently push the earth away from you. Still really load up on those quad muscles, those muscles around the hip. Good job, everybody, good job. We are in our final minute, you guys, final minute. Let's see if we can keep it moving. We got all sorts of rest waiting for us on the other side of this minute. Let's see if we can keep it moving. Don't get lazy with those knees. Make sure they're tracking over the outside part of the foot. Good work, you guys, good work. Final 30 seconds. 
Don't give up on that form. Don't give up on that movement. Keep breathing through the nose if you can. Only going to make us better, guys. It's what we're all about. Getting 1% better every single day. Almost done, you guys. Almost done. We're still moving. Staying resilient here, guys. Three. Ooh. There we go. Timer's telling me that we are done. Great job, everybody. Great job. Take a moment. Walk it off. Grab your water. All right, we just got a few minutes left here. So take a moment. Let's go ahead and find our space on the ground here once again. All right, you guys. So what we're going to start with here, cool ourselves down with some relaxing movement. We're going to come down to all fours here and do a little bit of quadruped rocking. So what we want to do is plant our knees a little bit wider than hip width here. What we're going to be doing, keeping the core nice and tight, torso in the same position is we're just going to rock back here, sink the hips towards the heels, and then squeeze those glutes, come forward, put some more weight into those hands. So we're going to try and slow our breathing down as we do this. Rocking back, inhaling, letting the stomach fill up with air, and then squeezing those glutes, exhaling. Take your time here, guys. Take your time. Good. Exhale as we bring that body forward once again. Good job, you guys. Way to use those glutes to squeeze. Imagine you are crushing a walnut as you're coming forward with those glutes. Nicely done. Let's do one more here. Rock back, sink back, core is tight. <sighs> Crush that walnut, come forward. Nicely done, everybody. Okay, let's come on to a position you may be familiar with. That is half kneeling, so one knee is on the ground. Let's go ahead and stretch out the front of that hip there. So I'm starting with my left knee on the ground. What I'm gonna do is engage that left glute back here. Give that a little bit of a tap. Should be awake by now. <sighs> After our warm up and cardio crush, so we're squeezing that glute, pushing that hip forward just a little bit until we can find some tension here in the front of that hip. From here, we just wanna maintain that glute above all else. Keep that tension in the front of the hip and breathe into the front of that hip. <sighs> Nicely done, everybody. Nicely done. Keep breathing, keep stretching. <sighs> Good, keep, keep that glute squeeze going. Let's do one more big breath. Nicely done. We can bring those hips back. Switch the leg now. All right, so the other side is down. We're going to go ahead and squeeze that other side as well. Super, super hard. Find that tension. Maybe it's the same. Maybe it's different. Maybe we have to push our hips forward just a little bit. But that's fine. That medium stretch here, guys. Keep that glute squeezed. Good job, everybody. Good job. Keep it squeezed. Almost done here. Let's do one more big breath. Keep that glute squeeze. <sighs> Nicely done. Shift the weight back. All right, you guys, that's all the time I have left for this class this morning. Don't forget, you guys can check out all our other classes, SharePoint and Slack, hashtag Exos. Classes later today are stretch break with me at 3 p.m. That's going to be a good one. And then mobility Monday and abs and core with Brittany at 5 p.m. So don't miss out on those classes. <sighs> Looking forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your Monday and take care. See you guys next time.